Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. This is part two of my last fragrance haul of the year. So most of the fragrances in this part are hard to find rare fragrances, and there's just there's a couple random ones, but for the most part, these are all either discontinued, hard to find, rare, and I happen to get lucky and find them, and I'll tell you how, and let's just get right into it. I think this time I'm gonna start with the best because I am honestly the most excited about this because I have been looking for this fragrance for ages. I got a used bottle on eBay of Fendi Theorema. Theorema is a fragrance that my mom used to wear when I was a kid and like not that young but I was too young to wear it myself and I kept smelling it like from the box. She kept it in that beautiful box and I kept smelling it and I always said to her like oh I love that peppery fragrance and I just remember this as the peppery fragrance. Oh my god how gorgeous is this scent. You guys do you, have you tried this? Have you ever tried this fragrance? If you have please comment down below and let me know because like and I don't throw around the word masterpiece and I I hate like using that term loosely but legit this is a masterpiece and i wish fragrances today smelled like this there's like a like a sweet candied citrus in here you know what i'm just gonna spray it on my hand i'm obsessed with this it's so beautiful even though my mom had this fragrance i don't have that association of like oh it was my mom's fragrance like no it's mine i've always wanted it and now i have it and i am gonna wear it I think it's like it's the scent that I always wanted but I was too young for it at the time and like I was too young like I think I was probably in like grade six grade seven like it wouldn't have been appropriate for me to wear it and I was intimidated by it at the time but also so intrigued so now I have it and not only do I have this bottle I also have a little gift set so here is the gift set. It came with a lotion and a body wash and a 30 ml of the fragrance. This I got from Parfumerie Eternelle and it was a hundred bucks. So I would say for a 30 ml fragrance, quite a pretty penny. And I'm just happy they had it. There's the there's the lotion, the body wash that I'll I'll probably still use, even though I'm low-key a little bit worried that because it's an older fragrance maybe the body wash and the lotion maybe aren't good anymore i just have really sensitive skin so i worry about that stuff but whatever doesn't matter because i got the fragrance so now i have whatever's left in this bottle that i got on ebay and the 30 ml that i got from parfumerie eternelle and i'm ecstatic this fragrance basically i don't think i even explained it to you guys is very it's very spicy but it has a certain like sweet candied almost like a candied orange peel scent in, the, in there as well. There's nutmeg, cardamom, like mixed spices, all the spices that you could think of. Sweet, like there's there's carnation in there as well. It smells ambery and warm, a little bit woody. There's like, there's lots of different florals. There's like a bajillion notes in here really, but to me it's mostly like a, like a sweet spiciness and it's very appropriate for Christmas and I guess the reason why I'm sharing fragrances that are hard to find that I got my hands on it's not to show off but it's more to say that if you guys want to find a fragrance that you've been chasing for a long time it is possible and you just have to keep your eyes peeled and there are so many different shops out there there's like there's legit sellers on eBay and you just have to do your research and you can find the things that you've been missing or that you want or that you've been looking for for years they're still out there and you can still get them and yeah they'll probably be a little bit more expensive but they're not gonna be like 300 bucks like this used bottle i got for 90. sure it's expensive but it's a gorgeous fragrance and the box i got for a hundred dollars so again not completely out of this world however i'm pretty upset that i still can't get gucci envy and a 50 ml bottle sells for 150 dollars, and i think that's preposterous so that fragrance i'm kind of mad at and whatever i'm just like kind of over it at this point next i got cinema from ysl 
This is the Eau de Parfum, and it's the 90 ml bottle. It's a really nice citrusy warm vanilla. It's sweet. It's it's a mandarin note in here. So it's not citrusy like lemon. If you if the camera's shaking, it's because my cat is on the coffee table. He's not photo bombing or video bombing, but he's just bombing all around. Look at this cat. He is completely shameless. Honestly, I haven't spent enough time with this fragrance to really describe it properly or what it reminds me of. It's new to my collection. I've worn it a couple times. I did layer it with Manifesto one time and it was gorgeous. But it's a like it's a sweet, very very dense but citrusy vanilla and floral, like quite floral. There's jasmine in here. There's some, I think, almond blossom. I don't know, some kind of florals. So I definitely do need to spend a little bit more time with it to get to know it, but I feel like it's a quite an easy wear. And I'm not a vanilla fan, but this is not the kind of vanilla I dislike. I actually quite like this. I think I like vanilla combined with citrus. And I also like floral notes. So the way everything combines in here totally works for me. Am I blown away by it? No, like I love Manifesto and I talk about it all the time and just like, oh my God, it's perfect. It's that kind of vanilla that I want the vanilla to be and everything about that fragrance is perfect. This one I honestly just wanted because I know it's going to be gone soon and I really wanted to smell it and I like it, but I haven't worn it enough to really make up my mind, but I will say I am not blown away at the moment. Then I picked up a backup bottle of Valentino Donna. I do not know which formulation this is, whether it has peach or it still has the leather, which I love. So I have a, a small bottle, a 30 ml, just like this. I haven't opened it, it's still sealed in the box because it's a backup. Beautiful iris and rose, that beautiful makeup y scent, but a little bit sweet. There's vanilla in there, it's a nice powdery sweetness with leather and it's super glam and it's gorgeous and I wanted a backup bottle so I got me that and that one I just happened to stumble upon on Facebook marketplace so you just have to keep your eyes peeled like things are out there and you can find them another one I got from Parfumerie Eternal when I got the Fendi Theorema I also got Guerin Mahora and it was reasonably priced it's a 50 ml bottle I think I paid $85 for it the bottle is really unique I like how the sprayer works like, it looks super vintagey you have to twist it and then you can spray it. I'm not going to spray it because it fills a room. It is insane projection. It will absolutely fill my entire house. I had sprayed it before on a piece of paper and I left it there and you can smell it from the other room. Like it's it's a beast. And it's basically tuberose, like a classic tuberose. So for those that are not tuberose lovers, that are not tuberose fans, this is really all about the tuberose. There are other florals in there. There are other white florals. I think there's jasmine, um, neroli. Honestly, for me, it's mostly tuberose. And really interesting. Really quite, quite bold. I'm tempted to spray it, but I have other fragrances to get through. And I know that this is going to create so much interference that I just can't. But it's gorgeous. It reminds me of like a more mature uh, Guerin Terracotta Le Parfum. This is kind of like a much more mature version of that. It's so hard to find now. You can check Parfumerie Eternelle if they still have it. But it's quite a gem and it's a shame that it's been discontinued. So I'm glad I found that. And on eBay, I got my hands on a vintage bottle of Dior Poison. And... I just bought it because it's such a iconic fragrance. It's very classic. It's that incense-y, plummy tuberose. It's maybe not a fragrance that I will reach for, but it's a classic. It's really a classic and it's worth having. It's worth having as a reference point. I really wanted to get a nice vintage bottle. I'm so happy I got it. I always wanted to have a bottle of poison. I didn't want the current day one. I don't know why, but I just wanted the vintage. I think the bottle looks super cool. It really looks like a little vial of poison and I think it's super neat and I just really wanted it. So I got it. That's a partial bottle and I paid, I think about $50 Canadian for this. So, you know, not, not cheap, but as a collection piece, I think it's worth it. 
Okay, the next one is not a rare fragrance, but I did pick this up when I bought something else on Perfume Online. So this one is from Ajmal and it's called Senora. Or Senora, since it doesn't have the accent on the end. Here it is, super cute bottle, kind of playful, girly looking. And this one is kind of a dupe of Midnight Poison. It's rose and patchouli. It's mostly rose and patchouli. Kind of smells like YSL L as well, except that one's a little bit more dry. This is more rosy. And it's a really nice alternative that's available at a low price if you like a fragrance like Midnight Poison. It's quite similar. And I think this was only, I think 25 or $29 and again, Canadian dollars. Um, I'm pretty sure that fragrancebuy.ca has it as well. So I would definitely recommend this. It's quite hard to find Midnight Poison these days and that one is ridiculously expensive. I wish I could find it and not have to pay $400 for it. I have another dupe from Federico Mahora, which is quite nice. This is super affordable and it's a big, big bottle. I, it's 100 ml, so for 30 bucks, I'm quite happy to have this as an alternative. What I also bought was Bulgari Omnia Crystalline, and this is the Eau de Parfum. This one is impossible to find. Like, I have been looking everywhere for this. I found it on Perfume Online, and they just had this little 25 ml. I think it was like 50 bucks, um, 50 or 60. And it's a really pretty clean, musky scent. It does smell a lot like the Eau de Toilette, but a little bit sweeter and a little bit of a, like a richer musk smell. It smells more creamy and like less airy. It's more, obviously more dense. It's more like powdery and more sensual than the Eau de Toilette. Like the Eau de Toilette is like lighter, fresher, cleaner, and this one's a little bit more powdery and musky and sexy, if that makes sense. And I just wanted to have it as part of my Bulgari collection. So there it is and it's really pretty. Speaking of musky fragrances, Narciso Essence. I got a backup. It comes with the fragrance and some body lotion and a shower gel. So that's, that's the set. I'm obsessed with this. I talked about it in my 10 out of 10 video and it's just the best musk. It's the best clean musk. I love it. I know a lot of people are bothered by the metallic note on me. It's very subtle and it actually just adds a lot more beauty to the fragrance and a lot more like unique facets. So for me, it's perfect. This whole set I got for $80 and locally we have this warehouse here. It's called Lisa's Cosmetics and twice a year they do a massive warehouse sale and you can find some real gems. This is just in the Toronto area. So if you guys know about it and if you've gotten great stuff there, let me know what you got. I really love this warehouse sale and like I always wait for when they'll have it every year. And this year they did like a pop-up shop online. So that's where I got this and they had quite a few. I was surprised that it didn't sell out as quickly as I would have expected. So super happy I got a backup. And now we're down to the last four. Um, I'll quickly get through Hot Couture by Givenchy. I got this one also like randomly on Facebook and it was just, it happened to be a really good price. It's not a rare fragrance. It's actually quite easy to find. My mom used to own this one as well and I wasn't, I couldn't remember it. Like I, I wanted to smell it again and it just, it was just really inexpensive. So I went and got it and it's not a bad fragrance. Like I think I'll keep it. I don't think I want to get rid of it yet, but I'm just not sure about it. It's raspberry and pepper and it can sometimes be a little bit too much. Like it can sometimes be a little bit of an odd combination for me. Smelling it out of here is nice. It, it does smell a little bit outdated, but I still like it. I still like how it smells. So I'm just gonna have to give it a couple wearings and see how I feel about it. I have not actually given it a proper wearing. I just tested it on my hand to see kind of what I pick up from it, but I don't think it's fair to judge it just yet. So we'll play. And finally, I have some Poshmark goodies. I have been like, 
heavy into Poshmark lately and it's amazing. You can find some amazing things on there. It's a bummer that they take 20% commission, but whatever, it's worth it. Um, like if you're selling, it sucks because you lose 20%. But I got Joe Malone, Nutmeg and Ginger and this is discontinued and really hard to find. So I got, actually I got this and the same person was selling the KKW fragrances and I got them all for 200 bucks. So not bad, not bad, right? This one I really, really like, and I had an oil version of it, which I think was a really bad oil dupe um, from like a brand that I don't talk about. But I was like, this can't be what it smells like. So I'm so happy I got this. Cause it smells like fresh crushed ginger, like a fresh crushed ginger and like real nutmeg, like real, real nutmeg that you use in, in baking or you know those old style, old fashioned donuts that have nutmeg? That kind of nutmeg. Except that this is very zingy. It's very fresh, it's very refreshing. I think it would be a really great masculine scent. I really like it myself and I layered this with mimosa cardamom and it was a really, really nice combination. So I just love my Jo Malone's and this is awesome. I'm so glad that I was able to actually get this. Next on my list is Ginger Biscuit and if somebody knows where to get Ginger Biscuit, please let me know. And I'm just gonna go through these pretty quickly. I got them because the bottles are cute. I know they're hard to find. So, you know, my my greedy novelty side came in and I was like, oh, this hard to find. So I have to have it. Like it's, I'm the person that takes the last thing left. If there's one thing left on the shelf at any given store, I have to have it. I just, I'm just like that. I'll take the last piece of prosciutto on your plate. I'll take the last piece of cheese. I want it. I'm the I'm the opposite of a polite person that will leave it. I want that last thing. If it's the last one left, I have to have it. And so very much of a similar concept with this. Um, so one of them is Crystal Gardenia and the other one is Crystal Gardenia Citrus. So I do much prefer the Gardenia and it's just, it's a straight up Gardenia smell. It's not complex. It's very pretty, it's a really nice, pretty much basic gardenia scent. I happen to really love gardenia, so I was interested in these for the scent as well. It's not the most complex, it's not the most unique, but it's a really pretty, easy to wear gardenia scent, and I really like it. The the citrusy one, it, look, it's a, it's a citrusy fresh version of it. it. It does smell quite generic. It's nothing that special but the bottles are pretty cool but if i had to choose to keep one i would definitely just keep the gardenia i also would like to try the gardenia oud just because i like oud as a note so that's the end of my haul well i guess part two of my haul of my last haul of the year let me know if you guys have stumbled upon and found any amazing gems anywhere and what you guys have been buying. I'm always interested to hear. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.